Now, it wasn't Jesus that healed the woman that touched his garment. She said, that's what I want to do. She said in her heart, there was no scripture for it. She said, but if I just touch his garment, I'll be made well. So she slipped around, touched his garment, and run back in the congregation and stand there looking around. Someone said, what makes you give out so quick, brother? Jesus said, who touched me? He said, well, a whole all the audience, everybody's trying to touch you, the apostle said. He said, but strength went from me. Right. See, now that strength that went out somewhere, somebody touched with a real faith. Jesus, now that wasn't, uh, what, what operated that? Now watch what Jesus said. He looked around over the audience to see where it was, that strength was a pull from him. He seen the woman. He said, thy faith is saved you now. That blood issue is gone. See? Now what? Thy faith has required, see, your own power of faith has pulled from the supernatural God the desire of your heart. Yeah. See? It's your faith that does it. Not my faith. If my faith is doing it, I'd pull every little child out of that audience tonight and bring them up here and make them well. Little children anyhow. See? I would do it. But it's not my faith that does it. It's your faith that does it. It's not me that knows it. I'm just a man. But it's the gift of God. See? It's Him that does it. It's not me you're pulling at. It's Him you're pulling at. And He is in the supernatural. When your faith pulls like that, I just become a mouthpiece to Him. When He breaks forth something, shows a vision, then that's just something. That I'm another, to the scientist, another dimension. The sixth sense. The fourth dimension. Or whatever you want to call it. To me, the Holy Spirit. I try. Surrender. I hear sense of woman. I'm an Anglo-Saxon. She's an Ethiopian <coughs> in origin. Almost exactly the same picture that when Jesus talked to a woman at the well. He was a Jew and she was a Samaritan. Is that right? <coughs> I don't know you do, I lady. I've never seen you. I know nothing about you. Never seen you in my life. Is that right? This is our first time ever meeting or knowing anything of one another. Is that right? Here it is. Now, what could I do? We're the same blood. She being Ethiopian and me, uh, the Anglo-Saxon and the Chinese, the yellow man, we're all one blood. Yes, each one can transfuse the blood for the plasma. But you can't transfuse your blood by an animal. It has to be by human. See? All right? Then the same blood that was bursted at Calvary to make the waters of separation that separate me from my sin bursted for her, to separate her. The same blood that separated me from my sickness is sure to separate her. The same blood that gives me the desire of my heart for things that I needed for the kingdom of God can do the same for her. 